how's it going? My name is Shane Smithskull, and I created an Android app that you can use to control your car's steering and acceleration with OpenPilot. So all you need to get started is an Android phone and a little app called Phantom, which you can download from GitHub, link in the description. So how it works is you connect your Eon to the Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone here. You enter the local IP of the Eon, which I already have it in there. Then you hit connect, it will connect to it, open an SSH shell, and start issuing periodic commands to the Eon, signaling that, well, it basically creates a fake phantom car ahead of your own car inside the long MPC. So OpenPilot handles all the acceleration, all the braking and the gas, it handles all the steering. All Phantom does is feed the data into OpenPilot. OpenPilot sends the commands to the car itself. So you know what it does, but let me actually find an empty parking lot so we can test it out. Okay, so it looks like we found the perfect place to test out Phantom, a fully empty parking lot. The car's right behind us. Let's go test it out. All right. So here is the Phantom app. What you want to do is make sure that your Eon is connected to your phone's Wi-Fi hotspot. As you can see, it is. Get out of this. Now I'm on the custom fork that's required to use Phantom. There's some custom code that you have to add to OpenPilot to make this actually work and receive the data. But we have the steering control up here in Newton uh, millimeters. It's set to, let's set it to 1500 for now. As you can see, I'm not touching it. It's, it's, it's working. We have the speed control, you can go anywhere up to 35 miles an hour. Let's set it to 20 miles an hour to start. And this big red button down here that accelerates us. So, we're going to put it in drive. We're going to turn on cruise control and we're going to engage. I'm going to take my foot off the brake so it's set to 20 miles an hour. Let's see if we can navigate this, this like empty parking lot kind of thing. So we're going to hold. Use the steering slider. And we're off. It's a little fidgety, not quite sure why, but the fact that this is working at all is amazing. And we can also adjust the speed as we're going. So since we're going down here quite a steep angle, let's set it to 10 miles an hour. Okay, go to six miles an hour. We're braking. There we go, we did it. All right, now we can increase the speed a little bit. And by the way, you always need to hold the hold button. That's why it says hold. As soon as you let go of the hold button, this is what happens. You start braking. That's all. They okay, set it to 18 miles an hour. We are accelerating. There's a car coming up here, so I'm gonna brake myself. And let's try 24 miles an hour. This is a pretty sharp curve here, but as you can see, we're handling it totally fine. Going over the speed bump. Perfect. And what you saw right there is a steering fault. That's because I increased the torque quicker than the system will actually allow. So what you need to do to avoid any kind of steering faults is just apply torque and decrease torque as, as smoothly and as slowly as possible. Let's go to settings and set the max steering torque to something crazy like 2000. And now that we increase the steering torque, it's able to turn a lot easier. Now let's test how sharply we can actually turn the wheel here. So let me get this set up. I'm at 1200 right now. We are at 140, 150 degrees right now. And it's not, okay, 180 degrees on the steering wheel. I'm just doing donuts right now. Not even touching the wheel. It's at 180 degrees. Let's go all the way to 2000. 190 degrees. This is crazy. Now I will smoothly bring the torque down. And we shouldn't have any steering fault. We did because I did it too quickly. Now, of course, you should never use this while you're outside of your vehicle or you cannot directly control your vehicle because it's definitely not the most stable system in the world. But you always want to make sure you're in the driver's seat 
while you're operating Phantom. Or, if you want to play it a little more risky, you can have a friend sit in the driver's seat, get outside of the car, and see how far you can drive the car. We're in a fairly small neighborhood. There's not too much traffic on these roads. Let's set the speed, something reasonable like 21. Engage, and it's not working. We have a right curve and then a slight leftish curve coming up. It should be able to do it no problem. Left curve, did it without any steering faults. Fantastic, and that was around a 40 degree turn on the wheel. We have a car here. We're gonna be perfectly on our side of the lane. Awesome. We have our house here on the left. I'm gonna start braking. Fantastic. It wants to put us right in the middle of our grass. So that was a quick little demo of what Phantom can and cannot do. Obviously, one thing it cannot do is park correctly. I will put all the code in the description for the GitHub to the app and the OpenPilot repo if you want to try this out. Again, it's very experimental. It's very dangerous. You do not want to try it outside of your car. You want to be extremely vigilant when you do it or something like this will happen. I hope you found this video interesting or entertaining or something like that. I don't know. But thanks for watching.